Hello everyone, it's Snady, and today we'll be testing out the new Wayne Goss face brushes. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Well, my delectable little crab cakes, how y'all doing? I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a marvelous day so far. It's gloomy and kind of chilly today, so I'm gonna film, and then after I'm done filming, I'm washing my carpets. Oh my god, I'm so old. You know, you're finally an adult when you're excited for shampooing the rugs. And that's not even a euphemism. Anyways, I'm also very excited to test these little bitches out, and not so excited about the price. These come in hot at $175. I don't think I even spend that on food in a month, but I love me some Daddy Wayne, so I had to try them. But if you've seen my last Wayne Goss review of the lipsticks and the lip pencils, you know that nobody is safe from criticism on this channel. Like, I will tell you how the fuck it is. Does not matter how much of a dilf the creator is, nobody is safe. So before we slap these little bitches all over our face, let's head over to Beautylish. And these have five out of five stars. You go, honey. We have three brushes that come in the collection. This is the Artist Large, which is made out of gray squirrel and goat hair. So if you're looking for vegan brushes, these are not them. Then we have the Artist Me, Medium, which is made out of just squirrel hair as well as the small one which is also just squirrel hair. Not gonna lie, I did not know squirrels could grow that length of hair. They need to let me know what the fuck conditioner they use cause damn. The squirrels here in Michigan do not come like this. Unless it's the hair from their tail, that would make a little bit more sense. Anyways, these are handmade by masters in Kumano, Japan. Maybe that's why they're so fucking expensive cause god damn. The handles are maple wood and inspired by Japanese calligraphy brushes. Impossibly soft natural bristles pick up and diffuse powder seam seamlessly all over the skin, and they have multiple purposes. I, for one, was a little bit confused as to what the fuck I was supposed to use these for. I mean, you only get three. I did watch Daddy Wayne's video because I didn't want to use these improperly, and he basically said you can use these any way that you want as long as it's with powder, and that's kind of where my heart sank because for me, powder brushes are like a dime a dozen. Like, you can just get them anywhere, and they're not that expensive. What I need in my life is a brush that can flawlessly execute any kind of cream. However, once I took these out of the package and felt them on my face. Oh my god. God, I gave the best description of these on Twitter. Make sure you check it out because it is accurate as fuck. Let me tell you, this is the most soft and luxurious thing that I think my face has ever felt. Honey, the dick of a millionaire doesn't even feel as good as this. I don't even care if I can't use these with liquids. I don't even know that I ever want to use them with powders. They're just so therapeutic on the face. Like, I wish I could just reach through the screen and have you feel them because... It is out of this world, like disgustingly soft. But are they worth $175? That we'll have to see. I mean, it's gonna be a really, really hard sell for me because like I said, I have wet and wild ones that are really, really soft. Not as soft as this, but they do a great job. Man, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea all the places that I wanna rub this. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into a look. I am gonna apply my cream products first and then go in with these. I'm hoping that I can use my color switch with these today and do multiple applications with different things. Hopefully this isn't too damaging on the bristles. But I did see that Wayne said you can use this medium one for eyeshadow if you want like a cat eye. You can even use the small one for eyeshadow. You can use this as a highlighter. You can use this as a bronzer, a contour, a blush brush. And so I'm wanting to really put these bitches to the test because that's a lot of money for three brushes. My face is primed and ready to go with the face oil that I've been testing. So I'm going to go in with my all time fave Dior backstage on a little poof poof. Oh no, am I finally out of it? I'm reaching the end. How many years has it been? Jeez. All right, we've got a nice little base. I am too high. Oh, oh yes. For concealer, I'm going in with my usual Dior Forever Skin Corrector. Because these are more like luxury brushes, for some reason I kind of want to use like luxury products. I don't know if that's bad or not, but they also happen to be my favorites. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I have a bunch of like tall grasses for privacy outside of my patio and they are so fucking heavy and it's so windy out today. I thought one of them blew over and like it's filled with sand and that shit would have been everywhere, but we're good. I think it was my neighbor's patio door closing. All right, we have a nice little face base going on. So right now is the point when I typically powder. So for that, I'm gonna go in with these other foundations. These are the Milani powder foundations in the shades 11 and nine. And these honestly are some of my all time favorite powder foundations, but I really have to be careful when I apply them because sometimes they sit on top of the skin rather than melt in. So usually I'll either dip into them with one of these poof poofs or a sponge and like press it in, but I want to see how it looks with these brushes. And I think I'm going to go in with a big ass brush and then kind of color switch it and then go in with a darker. Oh God, this kind of hurts to like mar its perfection, but 
Here we go. Let's gently dip in. Oh my God, that picks up so much fucking product and I just like lightly sweep it. Usually I have to dig in that bitch. And honey, if you've ever had to dig into a bitch, it's not fun. But it could also be that it's going onto something black and it's the contrast of colors. But here we have it. It looks great on there. I don't know why the fuck I'm showing it to the camera. It's just powder on a brush. Here we go. Wait, let's get you zoomed in a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. And... Uh, uh, um... Okay. Honestly, it's not doing a bad job, but because it is so light and floofy, you can't like press in. And so it is kind of just like lightly dusting it on and doing that thing where it looks like it's sitting onto the skin. Let me go in and apply a little bit more. Oh God, it feels so so good. Why don't on this side I use this brush and then I'm gonna go in with this on the other side and we can see if there's much of a difference. All right, so there we have it. I normally go in like this and just press it in. All right, see, this side just gives a little bit more of a highlight. Let me kind of dust away the excess with this brush. Okay, what do we think? I mean, both sides honestly do look pretty good, but there is a bit more product on this side. So I guess this brush kind of helps give a natural effect. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more more. And then I'm also going to set my forehead as well as down my nose and everywhere I put that concealer. Again, though, the product isn't really laying down that well because I'm not able to really get it in. Oh, wait, if I kind of go towards the base of the brush, then I can push it in. Still not really near the eye, though. Okay, I'm going to very, very lightly color switch this brush ever so gently. And I'm going to dip into the darker color and we're going to apply this to the rest of our face. These brushes are very, very comfortable to hold, like they're ergonomic. And because it is so light and fluffy, there's just like a professional feeling that it gives. Like there's just so much control that you feel like a pro putting it on. So far though, I don't know that it necessarily looks like any other brush that I use. This side to me does look really, really good, like a little bit less cakey, but maybe it's just the lighting. Even so, I do think everything does look pretty nice. So let's continue on. I'm gonna lightly color switch this brush one more time so it's nice and clean for the next product. I think because we are trying to focus focus on the brushes here today, I want to do maybe like a light glam look. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. And Wayne did mention that you can use these for the eyes. So I'm going to take the smallest little guy and I'm going to take a little bit of like a soft baby pink and just start with that all along the crease line back and forth. And... Um, I can already tell that I don't love these on the eyes. Maybe let me try applying it like all over the eyes. It's definitely not a controllable brush. Like it's just gonna do whatever the fuck it wants. See, like it's just so light that you just, you have no control with it. It's like I'm trying to do my makeup with a limp painting, but it really does pick up pigment magnificently. Like that is just one dip into my eyeshadow. And I'm really only doing my eyeshadow with these because they are so expensive. So I wanna find as many uses as I possibly can with these to really justify the price. And I guess if you are into more simple makeup looks, this could work, but I don't really see the point. Even the bigger brush, it's just so light and airy that you can't distribute the pigment onto your eye. It just, it, it does nothing. I feel so bad because I love Wayne Goss so much, but I think that these are just face brushes. I know he said in this video that you can use these on the eyes, but I don't want to. Like here, I'm just gonna go in with the same pink on a different brush and I already have done more than what that brush did in like two seconds. Again, if you are gonna do something really, really simple and maybe you don't wear a whole lot of eyeshadow, you wear the same color on your whole eye, that probably would work. You could sweep it on, but I really don't see the point in doing that. I'm gonna try this same small brush with a little bit of red on it and just sweep it over the eyes and see if that does anything. I mean, it is applying it, but it's just meh. Okay, we are done using these for eyeshadows. I'm just gonna quick do a look with a normal brush. I do think those brushes pick up a great amount of pigment and that pigment clings onto the bristles. So that is definitely something. And the issue might also be that I do have kind of smaller eyes. So maybe these are meant for people with a little bit more lid space than what I have. All right, I left the edges of my shadow a little bit unblended and I'm hoping that maybe if I take this clean brush and kind of swivel over it, it'll blend it out a little bit. I don't know, we'll see, but oh my God. God, I don't care if it doesn't do shit. This is like heaven on my eyes. Ooh, maybe I am a little bit crazy, but I think it is kind of diffusing the shadow a little bit and adding that blended touch to it. Maybe it's not. I think it is. Maybe, I hope, I don't know. I don't know that it's doing a better job than really any other clean brush would do, but 
it is a really nice experience. Not the best at applying it, but softening the edges, killer. Let me finish this eye look up with some shimmer on the lids and some falsies, and then we can continue to the face. Let's dive into our contour. For that, I think I'm gonna use this big brush. You can use the smaller ones, depending on how sharp of a contour you want. Like you could use this small one and maybe buff it upwards or just create a harsher line. Actually, let's take the medium one and start there. So I'm just gonna dip into my NYX contour palette. Start right about there and go back and forth. Is anything going on? A little bit? Yes, maybe? Oh, that is making a very, very sharp contour, which I don't think I mind. Like it is carving out a cheekbone. Oh my God, and it's so soft. It blends out really nicely. Ugh, is it better than any other brush that's like this? Honestly, I don't know. I've never used one for contour. Let's see. The only thing that I have that's even remotely close to this is this Moda Pro brush, which it looks more like the bigger brush, but it's all I have that's close. Like it's, oh, my phone's ringing, but it's all I have that's like similar and fluff. So we'll try it. I'm not really expecting much with this, but let me dip in. I'll see if anything will even go on the bristles. Well, it feels just as lovely and... Does it look the same? I feel like I'm able to be a little bit more precise with the Wayne Goss one, but it is giving a very, very similar effect. Okay, let me go in a little bit more with this Wayne one and see exactly what she does. I just think that looks really, really nice. Maybe it's too harsh. Like what you're seeing on camera might be something completely different than what I'm seeing, but I think it looks really, really good. Like we were able to kind of create that faux chiseled line right there. I'm just gonna use this on the other side too. What the hell? The thing that I do like about this brush is you can go in really lightly, but I'm not really afraid to like smush it into my skin. Like I don't want to ruin it, but I don't think it will. But I also really like how pointed this is because I can easily contour my nose. Like all I have to do is slide down and honey, I'm very good at sliding down things. But just like that, my nose is a little bit smaller, a little bit snatched. And I was able to get a nice little contour. Let's take a little bit under the chin line. Now let's bronze this little bitch up. For that, I'm going to use the big ass brush in my little sample size of hula. I love this stuff, but I'm too cheap to get a big one. One little dip and so much product goes on. Like that I think is the biggest difference I'm seeing between this and other brushes. Just picks up an incredible amount. So let me tap it in and see how it looks. Oh my God. God, that's beautiful. I don't know if it's the product or if it is this brush, but does my skin not look airbrushed? Like, fuck me up. I can't really see the line right there. Maybe that's a bit too harsh. Maybe I can buff it out a tiny bit. But like, I don't have highlighter on, but the way that this is laying down, it's just giving my skin a really, really porcelain airbrushed look. Again, I don't know if it is these brushes or the product. So on the other side, why don't I go in with a different brush? I'll try another fluffy one. This is a Luxie Pro Precision Tapered 640. So I'm just gonna dip into there. And unlike the other brush, this does not pick up a whole lot of product. Like I really have to dip in there and there's shit flying everywhere. But there we have it. And mm, um, well, it is applying product, but it's not quite white as, I don't know, precise or pretty? Oh my god, I just spit and I saw it go flying. What do you think? Can you tell a difference between the sides? I know that this part right here is a little bit fucked up. That's my own fault, so we won't judge that. Oh, it is on this side too. I don't think it looks bad, and it might look the same, but I still kind of prefer this brush. Let me just take a little bit more and go over this side, and oh, you know... I think it does apply better with this. Like as much as I'm trying to fight the price on these, I think they are actually pretty good for the face. And maybe there are brushes that are similar to this that are way cheaper, but I just don't have them. But the brushes that I do have really do kind of pale in comparison. At least so far, I'm still not sold on the price yet though. But the amount of product that it picks up is really, really good. Like I feel as though I'm wasting a lot less of it. And I think it just looks really nice. Let's go in with Bloosh. We'll very, very lightly give this a swirl. I'm just gently play. Oh my God. Here I'm talking about being gentle with it and I fling it across the room. 10 second rule though, I'm still using it. For a blush, I'm gonna go in with this Cover FX. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's this. And I'm really curious to see how this applies with this big brush because sometimes it can be splotchy. Sometimes it can just be super duper pigmented. And so I like to kind of go in between them and just mix them around. We'll tap a bit off. A lot went on like that is beautiful looking and oh, here we go. That is magnificent looking on my skin. It's probably a little bit too dark. I may end up going in with maybe a little bit more of a berry tone. That looks 
so good. At least from where I'm standing, let me go ahead and do the other side and tap a bit off. Ooh, we have a few stragglers coming out of here. Maybe I should be a little bit more gentle with them. Oh shit, that applied a little bit too much. I was very excited. So I did apply a little bit too much on this side and that is kind of my own fault, but also it's really fucking difficult to see some pigments on this brush because it's so dark. Even when I tap it off, the shit still clings to it. So you just kind of have to be careful. They're different than most brushes that I've ever worked with, but I'm not mad at it. I think it's 95% my fault and then 5% of a learning curve. And I'm actually okay with that blush. I don't think I'm gonna go over with another one, but I am gonna take some of this pigment right here and just use it as a pre-highlighter because we know this bitch is gonna go balls to the wall with that shit. Mmm, it's so pretty. Okay, so the thing that I'm noticing with these brushes is that it can definitely transform a product and it kind of makes reviewing things accurately a little bit difficult. Same goes for like the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas because it can transform something shitty into something amazing, it's really hard to know if something actually is good or bad. And these brushes are kind of doing the same thing. Like, they're so good with some things that it transforms a shitty product into something amazing. Not that anything I used is really shitty, but a few things that I use today are kind of temperamental. And these brushes made those products look really, really good. However, it also didn't work with a few things that they said they would, like the eyeshadows. To finish up, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is my own at Cali Life, and I'm gonna take it on the small brush and I'm just gonna kind of like swipe it up and so <gasps> It is a great highlighter, but oh my god, that application was fucking flawless. Like, in just one fluid move, you can go just like that. Oh, I have to try it again on the other side. Ready? Here we go. One fluid move. Uh -huh. Fuck me up, you guys. I am keeping these brushes. I've just decided. That just sold me. Let me go and highlight my brow a little bit and maybe take a little bit on the inner corner. And it's really easy to highlight the inner corner because it comes to such a fine point. It's also very easy to overdo it with product because you just want to keep applying more and more because the brushes just feel so good. Okay, I'm gonna keep it just right there. That's plenty. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Gus lip pencil in, I believe, cinnamon, and then the lipstick Zinnia. All right, there we go. I mixed both of those with a little bit of Wet n Wild's Liquid Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. Before we zoom out, I wanted to show you how we look. I think everything looks really damn good. What do you think? Yes? No? Harsh contour lines aside, my own fault. All right, where are all my brushes? Let's see. Do I think these are worth the price? Oh, that is a tough one. Let's start with, do I think they're good? Yes, I really do. These are beautiful, magnificent quality brushes. They apply powder to the face like a dream. They do make quite a few products look way different. I feel like there's a lot less waste when you use these. Do I think there are other brushes that are way less expensive that could probably give you the same results? Yes. I think that it's such a high price tag because one, it's Wayne Gotts, I mean King. Two, because these are handmade. And three, because this is real hair. So if none of those really matter to you, you probably don't need these brushes. However, if you do have a few pennies in the bank and you want to splurge and try them, I definitely suggest you do because you probably will not be disappointed in them. I kind of went into this review thinking there's no fucking way that these are going to convince me that they are actually worth the price, mainly because I have a lot of brushes. I have some really expensive brushes. I have some cheap brushes. And in the end, they all kind of do the same thing. But these, these were a whole new fucking experience. I'm not going to say that they are worth worth the price because $175 for three brushes, if it was like a whole set of brushes with like a few eye brushes thrown in there, then yes, absolutely. But three brushes for almost $200? No. With that being said though, even though Beautylish has a return policy, I'm probably gonna keep these. In fact, I'm gonna use the fuck out of these. Next time you see them, they're probably gonna be little nubs. So do I think they're worth the price? No. But do I think they're great quality? Absolutely. But even though it is a lot of money, I'm not regretting my purchase, like, at all. Even if I didn't do a review, I honestly would probably still have kept these. So maybe it is worth the price? Um, I don't know. I'm really torn because they are great quality. It's just, they're really expensive. Just too much of a cheap ass to want to pay that. So are these bitches good? Yes, they are, but they do come with limited use. You can't use them really for eyeshadow other than blending them out, at least for me. You can use them for pretty much everything powder related on the face. And even though they do pick up quite a bit of powder or pigment, it also dusts away really, really easily. I think you're only supposed to wash these, what, like every month or something, and I don't even think you'd really need to. Like, I've used this brush for contour, bronzer, and blush today, and it is perfectly clean. Like, nothing is coming off. The only white thing I have around here is my mannequin head. Let me see if anything comes off onto it, and... 
Not really. I mean, a little teeny tiny bit. I don't think you're going to even be able to see it, but not much. I don't know that you would want to use these as a professional, though, because when it comes to sanitizing, like, you can either squirt it with alcohol, which will really dry out the fibers, or you can wash it, which, once again, will also really dry out the fibers. Like, you could condition it after you wash it, but, I mean, really, who wants to do that? Actually, I do that all the fucking time. So take that into consideration if that's an issue, but other than the price, I don't have any issues with these. So, uh, there you go. Congratulations. Congrats, Daddy Wayne, you did good. Not sucking dick here, but I mean you convinced a self-proclaimed cheap ass to buy three $58 brushes. And most importantly, not even regret buying them. So that is a good achievement. Oh my God, I'm torn. Do I want to give a set away? That is so much money. Okay, I've made the executive decision. We are going to put that stimulus check to good use and I'm going to give away a set of these. This will be a worldwide giveaway. I think I have another giveaway going right now too. So make sure you check that out too. Maybe I'll put both giveaways down below. Make sure you're 18 or older or at least have your parents consent. Good luck to everyone. Oh god, they're so expensive, but honestly whoever wins these, you are going to love the fuck out of them. But there you go. Thank you all so much for being here. I love having you. And if you'd like to support me and my channel a little bit more, please feel free to join us on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. There you get videos a day early. You get extra little videos that are Patreon only. There's lots of little nuggets over there. Plus, best part, it's cheap and fun just like me. Otherwise, there you go. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification about down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplex.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!